In this video, we're going to explore why you should not save brick during the pickup in Cyberpunk 2077. In a recent video about betraying Meredith, I talked about why my favorite outcome to this quest was siding with Maelstrom, but I really didn't talk about Maelstrom's previous leader, Brick, the guy who Royce overthrew a few days before we went to buy the flathead. If you choose one of the outcomes which leads to combat during the pickup, which is pretty much all of them except paying with your own money, then you can find Brick locked up in a room full of claymores on the ground floor of the factory. Your decision regarding Brick will impact the mission's second conflict later in the game. If you unlock the door and disarm the explosives, Brick isn't really all that thankful for saving his life. God, felt like a f eternity this. Been in here a while? Few days. Kinda lost count. Some guys loyal enough to care slipped me stuff, tried to help out. Royce threw him in the microwave dryer. Made me watch. Guess it's kind of your fault we're here. Came for some tech death spot. He tell you to free me? No, just to pick up the bot. Classic Dex. <laughs> Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. Think we're doing a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, maybe. I'll get you. But kinda caught me at a bad time. We ever meet again, I'll have you covered. They got eyes on this turf. Careful. Sure you'll manage all right. This is my home. Quit sweating it. Hey Brick, maybe you should up your security with a VPN. Speaking of which, this video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. Now is a great time to cash in on Black Friday savings with Atlas VPN's best deal of the year using my link in the description. Maintaining privacy and security online is a big deal for me, which is why I like Atlas VPN. It encrypts your web traffic, blocks third-party trackers, and shields your IP address from prying eyes. My favorite feature is the Data Breach Monitor, which alerts you if your personal data has been compromised so you can keep your online accounts safe and secure. With just a couple of clicks, you can connect to Atlas VPN on your laptop or mobile devices. Atlas VPN offers the best speeds with over 750 optimized servers to prevent buffering and lag. There are many benefits to gaming with Atlas VPN as well, such as accessing region locked games and DLC, avoiding bandwidth throttling, and getting early access to new releases. I'm personally looking forward to getting my hands on God of War Ragnarok a few hours early in November. There's never been a better time to get Atlas VPN with their Steel Black Friday deal. Click on my link in the description to get Atlas VPN for $1.70 per month and an extra six months free with a 30 day money back guarantee. You'd have to be a cyber psycho to pass up a deal like this. This is a limited time offer, so take advantage of Atlas VPN's best deal of the year by clicking on the link in the description. Thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. Interestingly, you can still free Brick if you betray Meredith and side with Maelstrom. However, he'll still end up getting bricked by his gang Chumbas and Royce will still be in charge. We know this because when you visit the Columbarium Graveyard in North Oak, you can find an inscription for Brick that says, he left behind more friends than enemies. Brick provides no reward for saving his life, asking you to put it on his tab. But he'll kind of, sort of, pay you back in a sense later in the game. When you go to retrieve Nancy from the Totentans Club, if you saved Brick and offed Royce, then you'll find Brick doing an interview with Johnny's old bandmate. V, what a surprise. What can I do for you? Looks like Best I'm interrupting. Hands. Wrapping up, actually. Bessie has overstayed her welcome. Yet I still haven't gotten answers to all my questions. Make something up. You're a journalist. Should be second nature. Say it's an orgy of noise or whatever. Seems your people are holding a grudge. <laughs> hold those better than they hold their iron. Show a little understanding. Try not to piss them off. Kiri Uridine sent me. 
with some biz for Bess. Carrie, did he suddenly remember I exist? You can go. Huh? Just like that? I ask you. No, that's what I thought. Trying to run a business here. Thanks, Brick. That was enlightening. Let's go. Let's Delta. Appreciate it. Thanks. Brick is the only one who will let you walk out of the club with no combat encounter. Royce will want to check Nancy's files, so you have to either fight or sneak out of the club. And Patricia takes you to a back room to try to kill you. But I don't know. I honestly prefer sneaking out the bathroom window when Royce is in charge. Plus, the interaction with him is hilarious, so I'd rather have Royce around for this quest. If we thoroughly explore Watson, we can also find evidence that Brick was a weak leader who the rest of the Maelstrom gang did not respect. When Royce took over, everyone flipped against Brick except for a guy named Ellis who ended up becoming a cyber psycho after trying to take on Royce by himself. His gangmates pumped him full of drugs and replaced his cyberware, making him a bouncer at the Totentans before he totally lost it. We find him in a garbage heap during one of Regina's cyberpsycho quests, and after taking him out, we can find a message between him and Brick. WTF are we gonna do, Brick? Got a bad feeling Royce wants to f you in the ass, and he's got the people to back him. We gotta do something. Where the f have you been? I'm 100 f percent sure he's gunning for my reins. I've been a walking corpse since yesterday. My advice is to GTFO while you can. You're rolling over? We have people too. Jesus, Brick. I'm not going to work for that rusty Dane and that psycho douche smirk of his. Don't write that kind of shit, L. You believe in me so much. Believe me when I say you got to get the F out. Oh, f you. Shit your shorts all you want. Oh my God. Who wrote this shit? <laughs> this is so crazy. Shit your shorts all you want, but I won't let Royce get away with this. At the end of the day, saving Brick doesn't really get us anything, and I don't have much respect for the guy anyway, so I prefer to leave Royce in charge instead. He's a wild maniac and much more entertaining to deal with at the end of the day. Well, got anything to say? <sighs> what? Thanks, V. <sighs> for what? For saving your sorry tin can ass. <laughs> Are you f***ing high? So there you have it. Why you shouldn't save Brick in Cyberpunk 2077. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Cyberpunk and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.